welcome to all you Cancerians. This is the first horoscope of the year of 2021 for the sign of Cancer when you've got your moon there, your sun there or your ascendant. What's going on for the Cancerians? Now, these are short videos, uh, concise, precise, take what resonates with you because they are very general. I'm um, going to be talking about Mars in Taurus uh, with Uranus and Lilith and going to be talking about Venus as well and about the Mercury retrograde. So first of all, I've been talking uh, a lot of months lately about the work and a lot of pressure there and a lot of, so hopefully a lot of Cancerians have been able to improve their situation when it comes to work, work hard, focus and whatnot. Um, but now the focus shifts because Mars is on the 7th of January shifting towards Taurus and that's way more gentle energy for Cancerians because Cancer energy and Taurian energy goes well together. Uh, we call it in astrology a sextile and you're going to have Mars there uh, in your 11th house, a very enjoyable social house that has to do with friendships, that has to do with networking that has to do with um, your goals for the future that also has to do with money when you uh, have a business of your own now it's not just going to be Mars Mars means action so being active in all these areas but it's also going to connect with Uranus and with Lilith around the 20th of the month so this is um, a highlight and a spotlight on your 11th house that um, it's very refreshing energy, so, um, but it can be a bit like out of the blue energy. Um, so um, definitely energy of wanting to free yourself up. Now, as this is the house of friends, it could be a friend that has to deal with some issues in their life and they're freeing themselves up and you kind of feel um, inspired by that. That's the simple explanation. Now, um, on another level, this can mean that when you have your own business, that you have found new ways of attracting more money um, because of uh, uh, projects that you um, that you connect with other people and talking and networking that can really give you uh, an extra income. So that's uh, definitely after all the hard work that you've been doing, and it can really come as a flash. You know, a bit unexpectedly. Um, you think it's unexpected, but it's actually through all the hard work you did before. Um, on another level, and especially when you are single, when you are looking for love, um, you've got like, the, you know, the lover's planets is Mars and Venus. And Mars is in your 11th house, in an earth sign, in Taurus. And Venus is in, an, in your opposite sign, which is really good, which is a... Uh, for for relationships because it softens the relationship it softens the connections with other people it easy it makes it easier after all the hard work you needed or, or all the complexity of those uh, uh, harsh planets that you had in the relationship house so with venus there in your seventh house with mars in your eleventh house and and in earth signs uh, when you are single this is definitely a possibility of uh, of meeting someone new um, and um, probably through connections because that 11th house is the house of friends, a house of like-minded people. So you could be meeting, I know it's a bit of a weird time now with, with the pandemic and whatnot, but I'm just um, talking about what, what I'm seeing in the astrology. So definitely uh, a very nice uh, um, enjoyable energy in your seventh house. You're gonna attract very nice people, charming people, gentle, but classy people as well, as it is in Capricorn. So you're gonna attract more, um, and you will also have more the desire to get along better with other people. In an existing relationship, this is good energy because especially when it has been a bit tough for you, with Venus through the seventh house, you can reconcile, you can um, understand each other a bit better. So um, every single year around this time of the month, uh, around this time of the year, you've got Venus in your seventh house. So enjoy that. Um, and uh, you could also be doing something active with friends or like-minded people with Mars there in the, uh, in the 11th house. So definitely also 
um, uh, a good time to have new goals and, and, and dreams and objectives for the future there. Now, what else? There's also a lot happening in your eighth house, and this is more uh, hidden energy. So um, you, uh, Jupiter and Saturn just entered in your eighth house. The eighth house is a financial house again. Um, it's, the, it's the finances that you share with someone else or with business partner. So there's a bit of a focus there to expand it, but also to consolidate it. And that will be there for a long time, definitely for the whole of 2021. But now at the end of the month, Mercury goes backwards. Uh, on the 31st of the month, Mercury backwards in your 8th house could indicate that you reassess your finances. Um, and that's good. I mean, that's great energy reassessing, looking at the investments or insurances or whatnot uh, and thinking about how to, um, how to change them, how to improve them. Uh, if you're thinking about that, this is really, really good energy and um, to see more possibilities. But that will be going on more in February um, to uh, change it and to make new plans there. On a deeper level, it's, um, it can be really psychologically that you were, um, because of things that happen on a daily basis, you're thinking more about the deep stuff of life, about uh, uh, life, birth and rebirth and death and birth and I, I mean, these are very deep topics that could be arising for you and that you uh, count your blessings, basically. Uh, because of the things that are happening around you, you can understand and see what, what is life all about and, and your values. So you could be working a lot about values that you share with someone else to, um, to reassess that. Having said that, I think this is going to be a, a more smoothly month for you. Um, anyway, have a very good month, dear Cancerians, and thank you for listening. Bye-bye.